Hi, let's meet your limbic system. Did you know you had a limbic system? Well, whether you do it or not, you do have a limbic system and it's right here in your brain. And I am in my daughter's very messy room because she has the perfect toy for us to learn about our limbic system. Me, Bob. <laughs> Is this the freakiest toy you've ever seen for a five-year-old? A five-year-old. This was from her uncle. It freaked me out when I opened the package. But anyway, he's perfect to help us illustrate the limbic system. So we're gonna take Bob apart and we're gonna check out his brain. So the limbic system sits right on top of the brain stem. Right here, this little white part is your brain stem. And it's in the middle of your brain. Right here are the different parts of the limbic system. Different parts um, are your, your hippocampus, your hypothalamus, your thalamus, your amygdala. And all of these things are right here in your brain and they are regulating things like your emotions, your hormones, your memories, your drives like hunger, um, maternity instinct, sex drive, all of that is right in here in the limbic system. And what's cool about the limbic system is that there is, I'm gonna put Bob's brain back together, he's feeling naked. Um, there's something called the olfactory bulb. And the olfactory bulb basically like olfactory smell, yeah? It goes like from your nose straight into the limbic system. Everything else that's going into your limbic system gets filtered. So um, your things you touch, see, um, hear, taste, all of that has to go through like a filtering process before it actually reaches into your limbic system. Except for your smell. Your smell goes straight in there. Which is why smell can be so powerful. Think about um, you smell something and immediately it brings back a flood of memories. Or um, you're driving past a restaurant and you smell food and immediately you're hungry, even though you like just stuffed yourself. Um, all of that is because of the limbic system. And that is why essential oils and the limbic system go so well together. Because it, since it's controlling your emotions and it's regulating your hormones and even your memories, um, the limbic system can be influenced by essential oils. So if you're having a hard time getting off of the couch to go do your workout or getting out of bed, um, you can use your limbic system to your advantage. So one oil that I really like to help grab my limbic system and say, wake me up, is this little oil. Can you see it? Energy. So all I have to do is take a few sniffs and it goes straight into my limbic system. My limbic system starts, you know, alerting my body. Hey, wake up, have some energy, get off the couch, go fold the laundry, go do the dishes, go work out, whatever. And that's because the oils go straight through your olfactory bulb, straight into your limbic system, and they tell your brain that you need to start getting going. Or they can help you with your emotions, like if you're stressed out. Get your stress away. If you're feeling grouchy, get your bottle of joy. So these things are pretty awesome and I love that our brain is um, helping us regulate all this stuff and that essential oils can give our brain a little kick and say, hey, come on, let's, uh, let's go. So that's your limbic system. So thank you, Bob. Bob's in half. <laughs> and thank you, Uncle Daniel, for sending Heidi Bob and let's get on with the rest of class.